Like many of you, I'm a huge fan of podcasts. I believe it was in late 2011 when I caught on to the Joe Rogan experience and was introduced to the world of podcasts. I love all different types of genres, but most of what I listen to is MMA related. And every so often when I'm listening to something, someone will bring up a point or an idea that causes a spark of interest for me. But because of the flow and the direction of the conversation, the point just gets glossed over and not expanded upon. And it leaves me wishing that whoever I was listening to would explore the subject a little more. This happened most recently when I was listening to the inaugural episode of Hinata Laraja's The Valet Tudo Hour. The 27-time world champion said something in passing that really made me think. When DC was brought up, Hinato talked about how MMA is unlike any other major sport in the way that the most famous figures in the game and the most relevant champions are on the broadcast team on Fox every weekend commentating on or analyzing fights. And over time, we see these fighters in almost the same way we would see any other sports broadcaster from ESPN or SportsCenter. And because of this, it's almost like we take them for granted. I'm not trying to see DC lose that gig. In fact, a part of me loves the fact that active fighters and even champions are on the broadcast team on a regular basis. I like pointing it out to friends who are casual fans and may not be aware that certain people on the panel are active elite level fighters. Not to mention that DC is fantastic at the job, but when Hinato brought this point up, I immediately realized I felt the exact same way as him. It's not even that I think DC or any other fighter is overexposed, but it makes me think that less may be more in this case. There was a time when there was limited content to fighters outside of the cage. Think about when fighters like Fedor and Anderson Silva were in their prime back in the day. The language barrier coupled with the fact that there was a lot less interviews and footage of them outside of actual fighting served their public image well. The performances and competition is what defined them more than their personalities and their actions outside of the cage. There was a mystique surrounding them, and I don't think it would have been the same if we saw them in the booth or coaching a team of hopeful pro MMA fighters every other weekend on TV. It's just a thought, but maybe the UFC should reconsider their approach to how they promote fighters, or at least be a bit more selective on what platforms they want their high-profile gals and girls to be on. I don't have the answers on what's the best way to promote champions, but I've come to the realization that it's probably not to just put them on whatever airtime is available. Being a sportscaster is one of the coolest jobs in the world, so I mean no disrespect to the position, but Daniel Cormier should be held in a lot more reverence than that. Especially now that he's embarking on the pinnacle of his MMA career when he will attempt to move up a weight and claim the heavyweight championship while still holding the light heavyweight championship. Thankfully, it seems as though the fan base is really starting to take a like to DC these days. It's great to see him finally get his due. I feel like it's all the more reason to put in extra thought into the promotion and the build up for this next fight. Daniel Cormier is a major figure in this sport and he should be treated like it.